We feel very confident that we can sustain what we're doing economically in North Dakota. Uh, and we get asked this question again and again. Uh, aren't you just all about agriculture and energy out there right now in North Dakota? And the answer is not really. Uh, what we have built over the last 10 years is a very comprehensive uh, plan of economic development uh, targeting what we call uh, our five major growth sectors. Uh, that does include agriculture and energy, but it also includes advanced manufacturing, technology, and tourism. And we feel that uh, we have a base of economic activity uh, that is statewide, uh, involves a number of different industries, different types of enterprises, and our job growth has taken place uh, throughout, the, throughout our economy. Job creation is really uh, the goal that we are after. We're not just trying to uh, you know, promote you know, agricultural development or energy development per se. Uh, we're working on job creation wherever that can occur. And I think uh, what you see now in, in our uh, state budget is, is the result of that uh, prosperity. Uh, are we dependent on uh, oil revenues? Uh, absolutely not. We, we've actually made a point of not relying on oil revenues for our ongoing uh, state budgeting. Uh, today, only 7% of our ongoing uh, state budget requirements are supplied by oil revenues. All of the other revenue from oil has been set aside for two primary things. Uh, one is uh, property tax relief uh, for all people in North Dakota, and the other is infrastructure investments, uh, not only in oil country, but uh, throughout the state. Uh, what we have going today is the development of a new geological formation called the Bakken Formation and, all, and the secondary one now called the Three Forks. Uh, those two uh, formations are essentially a shale type formation and a breakthrough has taken place in the technology of drilling uh, that shale. We asked people, we asked geologists, uh, you know, what is the potential of this formation? And what we're being told is that the geographic area of the, of the Bakken formation is extremely large, uh, really encompasses uh, most of western North Dakota. And the success rate uh, with these wells is in excess of 95%. So it is more of a, a kind of a mining proposition uh, than a risk-taking drilling proposition. Uh, the oil shale is in place. Uh, it is not difficult to drill a successful well. And uh, I think the, the certainty of the, of the uh, resource is certainly there. It is interesting when uh, People come into North Dakota from, from outside of our area, they've lived in other states, uh, particularly if they've lived on the east or west coast. Uh, they come in and uh, they start looking for the political fireworks that they're used to seeing in other states. And uh, they're always amazed uh, that uh, the people representing the Democrat Party and the Republican Party seem to agree as much as they do on uh, what's needed for North Dakota. Uh, uh, from a media standpoint, I, I guess it's kind of boring, but uh, uh, we do regularly see our congressional delegation from both sides of the aisle like uh, working together to solve problems for North Dakota.